me make this a little different. Okay, let me bring up the browser right now. Uh, why don't we just use something like Okay, so what I've done in here, I've just uh, made it a little easier uh, for reading purpose. So let me explain this. So I have included or I've called in the for loop using the for uh, keyword, then I've assigned an initial value of zero to a new variable called i. So this variable initially contains the value of zero. And then when I have uh, assigned the value at, and I have declared the variable, I finish off that statement. This is a full-fledged statement. I finish that off using the semicolon like I have done previously. So this is just the same thing. I'm doing the same thing inside this for loop. Then the second statement tells me something else. This is the conditioning part. And this is going to determine how long this body of loop is going to run. And finally, this is going to do the calculation or the iteration part. I'm going to get that, I'm going to get back to this iteration part at the last, uh, at the last moment. But let me just finish off with this conditioning part. So this conditioning part, first off, I'm passing, uh, you see that I'm using the variable that I previously uh, declared and assigned a value of zero. So this is the same variable as this one. First, I declare the variable and I assign a value of zero. Then I use that variable with this comparison operator. So I am telling the program that run this loop as long as i is less than the number of elements in the array. I, I guess that might sound confusing to you. Let me break it down. So first, I'm counting the number of elements inside the array. So I see that there are six elements inside the array or my compiler, see, uh, after the counting process, my compiler sees that it has got six elements. So when this counting function has eliminated or terminated its course or it has done counting the uh, number of elements then it's going to replace this part with the number six and this variable initially contains the value of zero so my compiler sees that at the first statement it has got the value of zero so it's going to replace this variable name or this variable uh, this variable's name and it's going to replace that with the value of zero. So now it gets simpler to understand. So this is a condition. It's, uh, when the compiler looks into this con condition after uh, evaluating both the right uh, left operand and the right operand, it sees that zero is less than six. So this is actually true. So when this is true, it's going to go inside this body. Because this is true, 0 is less than 6. We all know that. And this is a simple arithmetic. Uh, this, this is a simple comparison. So it's going to go inside this body, inside this clause, and it's going to uh, echo out this statement. So what this statement is doing, it's uh, calling this array, and it's getting the index. Now the index initially contains this variable. This is the same variable as I've declared in here. This variable contains the value of zero. So my program or my compiler is replacing this i with the value of zero. Now it's going to look into the first index. It's going to look into the index of zero inside the array. And then it finds that this uh, index contains a certain value, and then it's going to print that out on the browser. That's why we see a value of home printed out on our browser. Then again, we are using the concatenation operator, and along with that concatenation operator, we are adding a new string. Now, this is not uh, 
this is not essentially a full-fledged string. This is actually an HTML BR tag or a line break tag so that it makes our uh, code easier to read or it makes the page easier for the user to read. Then again, when this, uh, when the loop, when the body, when the compiler actually reaches the end of this clause or end of this body and reaches this part, this uh, ending curly brace, it then initiates this last statement. So what this last statement is, let me rewrite that statement for you. This i is i plus one. I compound addition assignment operator one I plus plus. So if you look into the statements, let's just forget about this for a loop.